Namaskaram, here in Palestine, wonderful to be here. The sacred lands which have been a point of dispute and conflict for very, very long time. Too many lives have been lost, but here we are as a part of Save Soil Movement. We're in Palestine, well, it's been a, a quite a saga to get across the security gates from morning 8.30 till 4 p.m. We've been at the gates clearing various aspects of security, insurance, motorcycle and works. Anyway, we are here now. The agriculture in Palestine at one time, just in 1960s, 90% of the population was engaged in agriculture. Over 50% of the country's economy, the region's economy was from agriculture, but still uh, olives, dates, here you see a date nursery and a garden. Uh, olives from uh, Palestine are very much uh, sought after and the date palms and of course grape wine and citrus are the main crops but uh, unfortunately it has shrunk in a big way in the last 25-30 years due to variety of reasons. We are not able to solve the geopolitical issues and the conflicts that ar arise out of it that is not in my competence, but it's my wish that we support the Palestinian people to enhance the richness in their soil, to save their soils so that future generations can live on this and once again bring back agriculture as a significant force in their life. Well, as human beings, we have divided the world in so many ways, but as life, as soil. National borders mean nothing for soil, nothing for the microbial life. So it's important for us to understand if our nation has to be good, all nations around us must be good. The planet itself must be healthy and thriving as a life, only then our lives will be truly good. In this bitterness of past, we are sacrificing our future and our children's future. It's my appeal to all nations concerned, to all people concerned, of all religious groups concerned, that let us keep the bitterness of the past aside and pave a wonderful future for our children. Let us look at the faces of our children. Let us not remember the injustices of the past and the death and suffering of our parents, brothers, sisters or whoever else, friends we have lost. That is true, there is that pain in our hearts, but it's very important we look at the joyful faces of our children and strive to create a rich soil and a rich nation. Let's make it happen.